Hello, friends, and welcome to JWReasoning.com. If you've been a Jehovah's Witness for any period of time, I'm sure you've heard about the Cedar Point, Ohio Convention, where J.F. Rutherford got up in front of the friends and he said, advertise, advertise, advertise the king and his kingdom. And I find this campaign quite interesting because he used the word advertise. Now, that word advertise is not found anywhere in the Bible. In the Bible, you will find the word preach, preacher, preaching. You'll find the word teach and teacher, but you don't find the word advertise. It's interesting to me because advertising takes on a certain mindset. It's, it's almost like you're showing a product. And really, when you come to think of it, this is what the organization has done. They actually are offering a product instead of Bible truth. There's an interesting article found in the August 22nd, 1998 Awake magazine called The Art of Persuasion. My suggestion is to read the whole article when you have time and see that I'm not taking these things out of context. We're just going to look through it very briefly. What is the aim of commercial advertising? Businesses say that their advertising provides a public service because it gives us information about their products. The International Advertising Association states, to be properly informed, the consumer needs advertising. Informed choice is based on information. Advertising, in its broadest sense, is the vital conduit for that information between producer and consumer. Of course, we all know that such advertising does more than merely inform. Its job is to sell. It is not objective or neutral. Successful ads skillfully engage the mind of the consumer and motivate him to buy the product advertised. So hopefully in your mind you're thinking about this and you're seeing why I picked this particular article after talking about advertise, advertise, advertise the kingdom because this is speaking about what advertising actually is. Now let's continue in the article. It says, to be strategically sound, an ad is usually carefully directed to a certain audience, whether it be children, housewives, business people, or some other group. The message is crafted to appeal to the most important concerns of that audience. Then the ad is run in the media that will most effectively reach them. So the next heading is called Elements of Persuasion. In the creation of an ad, careful wording is critical. Puffery or exaggerated praise is commonplace. It continues later in the article, in addition to clever words and visual imagery, music is important to radio and television commercials. It engages the emotions, enhances the mood of an ad, helps make it memorable, and improves consumer attitudes toward the product. Now I find this interesting too because if you look at the videos that the Watchtower is producing, they use every one of these tactics. Here's an example. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this month's broadcast. The project moved to the editing facilities at Patterson, New York. But what more could be done so the account betrayed could touch our hearts? A colorist applied a look to the overall film to enhance the picture's quality and mood. I have to get better. I'm afraid of being alone. Additional sound effects, such as footsteps and sound of dry grass being rustled, were recorded to make the on-screen action more natural and compelling. Finally, the musical soundtrack was composed, recorded, and added to the movie to enhance the appeal to our hearts. The work on the story of Josiah, love Jehovah, hate what is bad, was done to strengthen Jehovah's people worldwide. You're not alone. Jehovah is with you. This powerful story also assists parents as they teach their children the power of God's word and promise. That video certainly brought the Bible account to life for us. You may want to go back and review the full feature film again from our website. Please know that the governing body loves all of you brothers and sisters very much. 
from the world headquarters of Jehovah's Witnesses. This is JW Broadcasting. This is exactly what the organization does. They use these tactics in their videos. But the article continues, World Watch Magazine observes the most finely wrought ads are masterpieces, combining stunning imagery, bracing speed, and compelling language to touch our innermost fears and fancies. Under the heading Appeals to Logic and Emotion, it says, ads are carefully crafted, there's that word again, ads are carefully crafted to appeal to the specific desires and values of the target audience. Perhaps the ad will appeal to the need to have fun, the hunger for security, or a yearning to be accepted by others. Maybe the ad will direct itself to a desire to impress others, to be clean, or to stand out as different. Some ads promote their products by appealing to our fears. Continuing later under that same subheading, other commercials use repetition. This hard sell approach is based on the hope that if people hear a message enough times, they will believe it and buy the product, even if they hate the ad itself. This is why we often see ads recommending the same product over and over and over again. Sound familiar? How many times do you hear the same thing repeated, regurgitated, over and over and over again? I realize that the Bible is only so thick. There's only so many messages we can get from it. But it's the same message that you hear week after week after week. Obey the slave. Follow the direction of the slave. Self-promotion. This is what I see when I watch the videos, when I read the articles, and I do. I read all of the Watchtower articles to keep up with them. So let's continue under the next heading, Stopping Power. Have you noticed that you can become so used to an ever-present smell or noise that you hardly notice it? The same happens with advertising. That, to me, says it all. You get so used to things in the organization that it just becomes commonplace. You hear it. You've heard it so many times that it's just normal to you. Now it's just commonplace to hear them say, follow our direction no matter what we say. You just go along with it. You follow the slave. You wait for Jehovah, as they put it. And it's, it's really disturbing to me. And I hope that you'll take these things to heart. I hope that you'll think about the things that we're talking about. Next, it continues in the article. To overcome viewer apathy, advertisements must grab our attention. Television commercials feature stunning visual effects. They strive to be entertaining, dramatic, funny, puzzling, or emotional. They feature celebrities and lovable cartoon characters. Many use sentiment to hold our attention, perhaps focusing on cats, puppies, or babies. Does this strike a chord with you? Does this sound familiar? Do you notice these elements in the Watchtower organization's videos. I really hope you'll think about these things, that you'll take it to heart, you'll think about this, ad, this uh, article, and that you'll take a look at it and read through it and just see if you find some of these elements in what you're, what you're seeing at the Kingdom Hall, or I should say at the Zoom meetings. I'd like to close with a Bible verse. And personally, I believe we could apply this to what the organization is doing. What the, what the governing body members are doing. Take a look. It's found in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 13 through 15, and I'm reading from the New World Translation. For such men are false apostles, deceitful workers, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself keeps disguising himself as an angel of light. It is therefore nothing extraordinary if his ministers also keep disguising themselves as ministers of righteousness. But their end will be according to their works. So when we look at this particular verse, I'm taking this and reading it and saying that I could apply this to the governing body if they continue to do these things and if they're doing them on purpose. And I just hope that you'll think about these things, that you'll think about what the organization is doing, I plan to do another video on some of the changes that they've made, some of the things that they're doing and saying. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all of your comments. And I hope you continue to study your Bibles. 
read your Bible daily, pay attention to what it says. Remember, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. It's not by an organization. It's not by any man. So I hope to do another video very soon, and may Jehovah bless you as you continue in your studies. Thank you.